Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, the title says it all, the iPhone 10 is dead. Now I know some of you be complaining out there and saying, Android lover, Apple hater, it doesn't matter. To me, the iPhone 10 is dead. I've stopped using this device. I'll use it from time to time for different videos that I have to do for you guys, but it's not something that I will consider a daily driver. And why? Well, a couple of reasons. One of those big reasons is the iPhone 8 Plus. You know, Apple in its own ecosystem has a device that compares similarly to the iPhone 10. Sans a few nice upgraded features, but in terms of raw power, performance, and better battery life, the iPhone 8 Plus really does uh, handle quite well. And I think that's a very big problem. And I've said this before in previous videos that looking at the iPhone 8 Plus, it's kind of hard to go buy an iPhone 10. A lot of people would tell you, yes, you know, it's only an extra $5 a month or whatever. No, it doesn't matter. It's a matter of what does it do and why am I getting this device? Now, the iPhone 10 is gorgeous. It's got a lovely display. Um, it's a really good looking device. Um, it's got some really nice features as well. But to tell you the truth though, all those features don't apply to anything special with this device. And that's, I think, is the problem with the iPhone 10. So you've got that display. It looks gorgeous, but it's still not a 2K display. It's like, you know, almost there. Um, and yeah, watching content on that is pretty nice. And then, then you've got the unibrow. You've got facial unlock which is super cool, works out pretty well. You can't really fal falsify it unless you've got a twin, but I can see use my fingerprint much faster. I don't have to pick it up and do it. So those kind of things play a role to why this device just didn't work for me. Um, then you also have the fact that with this device, again, you've got those gesture controls. Yes, I can use them, I can handle well, but having the home button just works quite easily again. So you're looking at things that Apple is making changes and adding to the iPhone 10 that really doesn't make sense to me. And you know, put in, and also putting at a price point of $1,000, that puts that the whole economic mathematical situation of why should I buy this? Now, some of you say, well, the Galaxy Note 8 was almost the same price. Well, the Galaxy Note 8 is a specialty device that has the S Pen. What, is, what makes the iPhone 10 special specialty? Well, you could say the front-facing camera, but it's not that great compared to the Pixel 2. The rear camera is really good, but the Pixel 2 is a better ca uh, camera anyway with that too as well. So there's not a lot there to say, okay, this is better. Or even comparing it to the iPhone 8 Plus, that camera just compares as well to the iPhone 10. So you're looking at something and saying, well, Apple, why am I paying? And I'm paying for the screen. And that's the thing I'm going, I, you know, to me, that's a standard in the industry and Apple is not following the standard because the screen itself is still not even 2K. So for me, that's just a big no. And I just can't use the device for those kind of reasons there. So for me, it's that thing. And then talk about battery life. For instance, you know, this is a device that has uh, just to me worse battery life. Uh, I, you know, that I would expect from uh, the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8 Plus does really, really well. So there are a plethora of reasons you can look at that. But also, if you look at some of the industry trends, we're hearing that Apple might reduce the forecast for sales of the iPhone, iPhone 10. We're also hearing from suppliers saying that the iPhone 10 um, is going to, uh, Apple's going to slash uh, production by half because they're ordering uh, half as much displays. So those kind of things lead me to believe in saying, well, you know what, the iPhone 10 is out its way. Apple can call it an anniversary edition and say, yeah, you know what? We just wanted to put something out there and we're gonna continue with the iPhone 9 next uh, or 11 or whatever number they want to call it. But to me, I think this proves a point that Apple has, and this is something uh, some gadget guy has said a lot on my podcast, is that Apple has a lot of devices in the ecosystem from the SC, the 6, the 6 um, uh, Plus, the 6S, uh, you've got the 7, 7 Plus, you know, 7S, and then you've got the, I'm sorry, and then you've got the 8. I mean, that's a lot of devices, you know, in one ecosystem for, for Apple, and there's not a lot of differentiation above. So when someone's thinking of upgrading, I would just tell you, get an iPhone 8 Plus. I think it's just much better. And I think you will be fine with that, get better battery life, and it just makes more sense. The iPhone 10 is cool, but I think the device is out the window. So anyway, guys, if you do not agree with me, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Definitely subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. Also, join our notification squad um, and also chat with us in the community section. I'll be doing a lot of community specific things there to actually uh, connect with you guys and also give dedicated followers some prizes. So uh, do that, like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.